this is a drug more of glandular complaints maybe of thyroid gland maybe of lymph nodes maybe of prostate maybe of ovaries this is not conium this is not phytolacca this is a drug mainly adapted to the people who are dark complexions lean thin emaciated not natromure not cuboinum eats well loses flesh this is again not abrotanum this is not etusa this is one of the remedy for pneumonia in the hepatization stage of pneumonia where right lobe of the lung is affected this is not bryonia this is not calica this is a remedy where full of glands are enlarged all the glands are enlarged and indurated except memory gland and except testis again this is not uh, phytolacca this is not bryonia this is not uh, conium this is a remedy for the females who are more prone for leucorrhea more acrid discharge more genital irritation and finally leading to uh, malignancy this is not creosotum this is not carbonium malis this is a drug belongs to the family of halogens this drug is called as iodum today we will study one of the deepest and long acting drug one of the greatest contribution of dr samuel hanneman for the treatment of thyroid disorders for the people who are suffering from glandular disorders iodum it is a drug belongs to the family of halogens as we all know iodine is an essential element for humans this element was discovered by the french chemist bernard courtois in the year 1811 the word iodine is derived from the greek word iodes that is because this iodine gives of violet color when it get vaporized that is the reason because it gives a violet color and receives the name iodine this is one of the heaviest of the stable halogens iodine is the fourth halogen being the member of group 17 in the periodic table below the fluorine chlorine and bromine it is heaviest among the other halogens its atomic number is 53 and atomic mass is 126.9 as we all know that iodine is essential for our life we need around daily 0.1 mg of iodine in our diet iodine is required for normal growth and development any deficiency or excess of iodine in our body leading to various thyroid disorders maybe of hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism maybe of goiter maybe of toxicosis various symptomatology can happen natural sources of dietary iodine we get from the seafood such as fish seaweeds shellfish iodine also we get from the dairy products and also from the eggs even the plant also we get iodine where it grows on the iodine rich soil nowadays we get full of iodine or iodized salt as a fortified with iodine in the form of sodium iodide now almost most of the salt what we consume is iodized normally iodine it is lustrous purple black non metallic solid element regarding the various uses of iodine iodine is very famous for its disinfectant property most of the wound will be dressed up and cleaned with iodine tincture most of the sanitizer contains iodine 
Among the major uses of iodine compound are used in the catalysts, animal feeds, supplements, stabilizers. It is mostly used even in the dyes as a colorant for the pigments, pharmaceutical industries, even for the photography. In addition to all these uses, it is also used uh, in the minor uses includes the smog inhibition or cloud seeding to create a artificial rain. All these purposes iodine has been used. This is a short introduction about iodine. Iodine is a non-metallic element found abundantly in the sea water. For preparing our medicine, the pure iodine can be purchased from any of the chemist shop. For preparing homeopathic medicine iodine, we require one part of iodine is mixed with 99 parts of alcohol. From there, as for the pharmacopoeia, we prepare and will dilute it. From there, we prepare the higher potencies. I am not going to describe about method of preparations. This has been proved by Dr. Samuel Honeyman. This is one of the deep acting uh, remedy. This is again a constitutional remedy. It is not a so sector remedy alone for the thyroid disorder, etc. It is a, a deep acting constitutional remedy. Regarding the sphere of action, iodum has got predominant action on the glandular system of our body. That means it has got action, marked action on the thyroid gland. It has got action on the pancreas. It has got action on the mesenteric gland. A special affinity on memory glands, testicles, lymph nodes, larynx, lungs. Especially the, it has got mainly action on the right, right side of the lung. It has got also action on the heart mucous membranes, skin, blood vessels, nerves and even to the connective tissues. Regarding the thermal state, iodum is one of the hot patient. You can say not just hot, hottest patient. We need to compare other hot remedies like fluoric acid, lachesis. Regarding the miasmatic background, is predominantly a, a tubercular remedy. It has got uh, psychotic expression. It has got syphilitic expression also. So tubercular to syphilitic phase remedy. Iodine is an essential mineral commonly found in seafood. Thyroid gland uses it to make the thyroid hormones which in turn helps to control the growth to repair the damaged cells. This is the use of iodine in our body. Now you can see the periodic table of elements where you can see the halogens where it is there in the 17th group that is 7a p block of periodic table of elements where starting from fluorine, chlorine, bromium and iodum. In this slide, you can see the non-metallic element iodine, which is a crystalline substance, which looks almost black in color, which is a solid at room temperature. It has a moderate vaporizing property. It vaporizes when it gets heated up. It vaporizes into a purple color. Because of this purple color or violet color, it got the name iodine from the Greek word. It is a black, shiny, crystalline, solid substance. When heated up, this iodine sublimes to form a purple vapor. That's what you can see in this image. This is the chemical property of iodine. So, so far we have studied about uh, what is iodine. 
or what is iodum what are the sources of iodine what is the normal requirement of iodine what is the purpose of iodine in our body what are the uses of iodine in day to day life what are the sphere of action of iodum and let us go further for whom this iodum is indicated even though it is a deep acting remedy and long acting remedy it has got head to toe action but specially this iodum is adapted to the person of scrofulous diathesis scrofulous diathesis means full of glandular involvement the person with enlarged lymph node the person with enlarged thyroid gland especially this iodum is indicated for the dark haired person or a dark complexion person it doesn't mean that you can't give to the fair complexion person but specially adapted to the dark individual similar feature in fair individual we have bromium the person with dark hair person with dark complexions with enlarged glands enlarged lymph nodes the person with low cachectic conditions person with profound debility person with great emaciation like our abrotanum like our natremure like our tuboenum specially adapted to the person who has got a rapid metabolism the metabolism is so fast basal metabolic rate is so high because of that they eat always eat but loses flesh they have increased appetite at the same time they loses the weight specially adapted to the person of tubercular personalities a tubercular type specially adapted to the person who is highly restless so these are the sum of the adaptability of iodum let us quickly see some of the keynote indication of iodum the first and the most important key indication of iodum in regarding to the glands almost every glands are hypertrophied and indurated it is not just enlarged or it is not just hypertrophied it's also hard it is also indurated every glands are hypertrophied and indurated maybe of thyroid gland maybe of ovaries maybe of uterus maybe of prostate maybe of lymph node except mammary gland the mammary gland is atrophied and it is hanging down even in men the testis which is atrophied and hanging down initially mammary gland may be hypertrophied but slowly slowly it is atrophied that is a key indication every glands are hypertrophied and indurated except mammary gland and testis which is atrophied we have got several drugs or several medicines for hypertrophied and indurated glands we have remedies commonly used remedies like phytoleca we have got conium maculatum we have got carbo animalis we have got tuboenum but pathologies are different in phytoleca the glands are little more softer in consistency in conium the pathology is more of malignant which is indurated sometime it may be ulcerated like in carbo animalis we have tuboenum is more of inflammatory more of infective pathology that's how we can differentiate but in iodum every gland is hypertrophied and indurated except mammary gland and testis which is dwindled or which is atrophied regarding the second keynote indication of iodum is regarding the hunger you can see the image where the person is keep on eating ravenous hunger eats freely and well it loses the flesh this is common symptoms you can see in many of the drugs eats well but loses flesh commonly used remedies like natremure sanicula tuboenum abrotanum here it is different from natrum it is different from sanicula it is different from tuboenum here person is very much anxious and worried if he is not eaten it is to the level of mind it is not only the stomach that person is hunger even mentally the person become anxious the person becomes restless when he is not eating and almost all the complaints are relieved by eating and while eating feels better while eating or after eating 
or when the stomach is full anxious and worried if he does not eat we have got many drugs better by eating like anacardium alumina chilidonium natrum car petroleum phosphorus sorinum spongia you need to differentiate all these drugs it is a remedy where the person has got increased hunger eats freely and uh, at the same time he loses flesh we have to differentiate natrum and other constitution remedies sanicula tuboenum another peculiar indication of adam regarding the stomach complaints constant irritations person is constantly belching full time belching and full time irritation as if every food particle is turned into a gas as if every food particle is turned into a air which is typically you can see in kalika there are many drugs for the flatulence or many drugs for irritations like carbovage like china like lycopodium like asafetida naxomica each one has got its own peculiar concomitant to differentiate carbovage is again a remedy for the flatulence remedy especially in the upper part of the abdomen is involved especially for the individuals who old aged people who are prostrated people who are more of a venous constitution along with offensiveness whereas in china is the entire abdomen is bloated lycopodium is more of lower part of the abdomen is bloated where the person is constantly passing flatus as if it is again a globus symptoms as if something is stuck in the throat at the end you must remember iodum is also very important remedy for the people who have constant irritation as if every food particle is turned into a air another common indication of iodum is regarding the thyroid gland it is an excellent remedy for the goiter for the goiter we have got many drugs maybe of natrumur maybe of thyroidinum maybe of calcarea flor maybe of cuboenum here in iodum the gland is hypotropid the gland is indurated especially in dark complexioned individuals it may be of hyperthyroidism it may be of thyrotoxicosis with this goiter with this suffocation the person feels better by eating next indication of iodum is regarding the cardiac complaints as we all know the pathology runs in iodum is more of thyroid disorders in hyperthyroidism or in thyrotoxicosis where the cardiac output is very high so naturally the person will get palpitation so this is very easy to remember heart where the peculiar sensation as if heart is been grasped by a powerful hand or heart is been squeezed as you can see in this image as if the heart is been squeezed together as if the heart has been grasped with a iron hand similar to that of cactus similar to that of sulfur similar to that of lilium tigrinum followed by great weakness sensation as if heart has been grasped by a powerful hand sensation as if heart has been squeezed together associated with palpitation associated with tachycardia the least exertion will aggravate which is similar to digitalis we have another drug least mental exertion is aggravation as you see in calcareous the next indication of iodum is regarding to the anxiety this is the less important drug given in the practice for the anxiety means you have got many drugs the moment a patient comes to our clinic anxiety means we think of argentum nitricum we think of gelsemium we think of arsenical we think of silesia sometimes we think of lycopodium but very less or very much ignored is iodum here the person is constantly anxious both at the level of mind and body he becomes very restless with anxiety it seems also that the state of anxiety is attended with a thrill that goes throughout his frame unless 
he removes it by movement that anxiety which remains both at the level of mind and body which is only better by moving around anxiety is better by movement the anxiety comes when he trying to keep still the more he tries to keep still the more anxious state he becomes while attempting to keep still he is overwhelmed with impulses he get a sudden impulse to tear things because of this anxiety which is a peculiar indication of adam anxiety at the level of mind and body with restlessness and feels better by movement if he is not moving around he becomes highly gloomy he becomes moody he may get impulse he may get suicidal thoughts all those things may come with this anxiety only better by motion another peculiar indication of adam is regarding the restlessness which is again the most neglected symptom of adam he is so restless that he must keep himself busy must do some or the other things must keep in a constant movement or else he'll go insane or else he become despondent or else he become impulsive you can see that image whether how restless he is for the restlessness we have got many drugs commonly tried of restless we all know that aconite arsenical restox very often the moment restlessness means we is to think of this remedy is only aconite arsenical or restox aconite for the mental restlessness restox for the physical restlessness arsenical for both the mental and physical restlessness here the person is so anxious and he become restless which is very similar to our arsenic alb another indication of adam regarding the impulsiveness the person is so impulsive to kill which has been beautifully described in kent's lecture person is so impulsive to run as described by a clark it is not because of anger it is not because of any sense of justice or injustice but without any cause the person gets sudden impulsive to kill impulse to jump impulse to run without any cause we have got many drugs for impulsiveness hapasulf beautifully described in many of the textbook a barber get a sudden impulse to cut the throat of a customer we have got impulsive remedies naxomica highly impulsive you got arsenic alb is again impulsive here anxiety restlessness and impulsiveness to tear the things so you need to differentiate ars you need to differentiate restox you need to differentiate naxomica for all this symptomatology which comes very closely together one more indication of iodum in regarding to the lung pathology iodum is also a very important remedy for pneumonia especially for right sided pneumonia with high temperature especially in the hepatization stage of pneumonia which spreads rapidly with persistent high temperature with peculiarly there is a absence of pain in spite of the great lung involvement but there is a painlessness that day we had a discussion with some of my colleagues about why can't we think of iodum in present covid pneumonia the pathology of covid pneumonia is totally different from that of iodum it comes very closely the person is weak prostrated tired but here iodum the glandular tendencies are there here the Uh, Adam has got hypertrophied and atrophied gland. The person is highly hot patient. The person is emaciated. Person is so much weak and prostrated. Then you can think of iodum in pneumonia, especially right-sided pneumonia in a stage of hepatization stage with painlessness. We have got many drugs for pneumonia like aconite, bryonia, phosphorus, lycopodium, chelidonium. calicab 
each one has got its own peculiar symptoms to differentiate another indication of iodum is regarding the weakness there is a great weakness and loss of breath especially while going upstairs we have remedy like calcare cup person becomes breathlessness the person becomes weakness he cannot climb the staircase upward marked weakness during the time of menses the person becomes she becomes so weak like our alumina like our carbonimales like our coccyx regarding the last symptom we said about marked weakness especially while climbing staircase which is very similar to calcare cup we need to compare other drugs weakness while descending staircase the remedies like borax the remedies like bryonia the remedies like stana metallicum they can climb upward but they cannot climb downwards stana metallicum in iodum the person cannot climb upward person becomes weak and prostrated like our calcare cup so coming back to the next indication of iodum regarding the ovaritis inflammation of the ovaries there is a severe pain especially on the right side lower abdomen with a wedge like pain from the ovary to the uterus a right sided ovarian pain from the ovary which is extending to the uterus we have remedies like epis mellifica we have got remedies like belladonna we have got remedies like lachesis another indication of iodum is regarding the leucorrhea leucorrhea which is highly acrid corrosive and staining which corrodes the linen most abundant at time of menses we have got many drugs for leucorrhea like we have got remedy like pulsatilla we have got borax we have got creosotum we have got ovotosta there are many drugs but peculiarity of adam in a female who is dark complexion in a female who is lean thin emaciated in a female who is having a glandular pathology in a female who have got full hypertrophic gland with atrophy of the mammary gland with acrid corrosive and staining leucorrhea which corrodes the linen then definitely you must think adam another indication of adam regarding the constipation now we may be thinking constipation you have got a to z drugs but peculiarity of adam constipation with ineffectual urging like our naxomica which is relieved by drinking cold milk constipation which is relieved by drinking cold milk which is adam is the remedy in graphite is again a remedy which is relieved by warmth milk here which is relieved by cold milk iodum is also indicated for croup or croupy cough membranous hose dry cough with wheezing and with peculiar sawing type of respiration as we see in spongia child will grasp the larynx face will turn pale and cold especially in fleshy children child will have a croupy cough or membranous dry cough with a saw like sensation like our spongia where the child will be grasping the throat a kind of irritation in the throat every cold which extend downwards from the head to the throat to the bronchi especially in children who are lean thin emaciated with full of glandular pathology you can think of iodum and you need to differentiate spongia spongia is also again a glandular remedy spongia has got more of dryness more of dry cough especially aggravation after a sweet here no such modality it is more of membranous a dry croupy cough where the child will be grasping the throat with a kind of irritation and every time the cold settles from the head to the throat to the bronchi then you can think of iodum iodum is also a, one of the very important remedy for cancerous condition of cervix cancerous and degeneration of the cervix with severe cutting type of pain in the abdomen 
and also along with that hemorrhage from the stool for the cancer of cervix we have got many drugs like creosotum we have got mercurius we have got nitric acid you need to differentiate each drug based on the other concomitant symptom iodom also a remedy for the females who are lean thin emaciated with induration of mammary gland with tendency for malignancy with corrosive leucorrhea with cancerous tendency you can think of iodom iodom is also a remedy for rheumatic complaints rheumatism of nape of the neck rheumatism of upper extremities with cold hands and feet rheumatic pain especially at the night time you need to differentiate other rheumatic remedies like rustox like our rhododendron like our ruta so it has got other concomitant features where you can very easily differentiate this remedy from other drugs another indication of iodom is a very peculiar symptom while passing flatus sensation as if a stool would also pass while passing flatus there is a sensation as if there is a involuntary stool which is something very difficult condition we have remedies like aloes we have got remedies like muriatic acid we have remedies like oleander natromure and podophylla while passing flatus the person is unable to control there is a along with that involuntary stool we have to differentiate aloes because aloes has got mucoid stools in iodom is more of constipation muriatic acid is marked weakness and prostrations unable to control so the stool also passes out natromure is again a constitutional remedy based on the constitution feature you can differentiate podophyllum is more of a diarrhea this is how we can differentiate the symptoms of iodom from the other drugs regarding the last symptom of iodom it is also a remedy for worm troubles especially for tape worms or round worms when the santonin seems to be indicated and failed we have many drugs for the worm troubles like sina sulfur spigelia tucrium we need to differentiate with other symptoms but iodom you can think of a remedy for the worm troubles especially the child who is so much eating constantly eating lean thin emaciated full of glands full of lymph nodes enlarged where you have prescribed santonin where you prescribed sina but failed then you can think of iodom could be one of the remedy for worm troubles let us see some of the commonest general modality of iodom as we all know iodom is a hot patient so they generally aggravated by heat room aggravation by warmth of the air aggravation lying on the painful side especially in pneumonia aggravation by rest as you all know that iodom is the person who is so restless so rest is an aggravation aggravation ascending staircase aggravation too much exertion aggravation fasting most of the complaints are relieved by eating so fasting is an aggravation aggravation by touch aggravation by pressure and aggravation by night regarding the amelioration of adam amelioration by motion or amelioration by movement or amelioration by walking amelioration by open air amelioration by cold room amelioration by after eating amelioration by drinking cold milk amelioration also by cold bathing this is the some of the common modalities of iodom regarding the potency uses you can start using any potency based on the similarity based on the other potency criteria tincture is been used externally for cleaning the wounds locally can be applied on the swollen glands as from the boric it is also used in olden times for the rattlesnake bites these are the some of the tincture uses of iodom as per the boric's textbook